Wages, however, were relatively flat. But as Eamon Javers tells us, this report wraps up a very strong year for the labor market. We'll follow up with you soon, okay? In Washington, D.C., as many as 100 companies came to the Hiring Our Heroes Veterans Employment Fair today looking for new employees. We've got hundreds of job openings available right now. We hope to find some of that great talent at, at events just like we're here today. That employer demand showed up in the strong jobs number today, including increases in office workers, construction, and health care, an indication that the U.S. economy in the warmer-than-usual month of December was stronger than many economists thought. It's a little surprising. I mean, if this was a good report, uh, I think if you wanted to pick holes in it, you'd say there's a big weather effect in it. But it's hard to, it's hard to really get nervous you know, when it's 292. The unemployment rate stayed steady at 5%. Average hourly earnings ticked down a penny to $25.24. That means that for the entire calendar year of 2015, the U.S. economy added 2.7 million jobs. Now, that's down from 3.1 million the previous year, but you've got to go all the way back to the late 1990s to find two consecutive years of greater job growth. The government experts also revised up the past two months of job growth, saying final calculations show 307,000 jobs were added in October and 252,000 were added in November. If growth remains too weak, if China's story is for real, the stock market's got a problem. So what does this mean for the Federal Reserve? Do they continue to raise rates? I think they'll continue. It'll end up being a lot slower than people think. So, you know, maybe they raise it one more time this year. Meanwhile, back at the job fair in Washington, Paulette Davidson said what most of the job seekers told us today. She's feeling good about finding a job. Just being here today gives me hope that, you know, things are trying to change. You know, the nation itself is looking for people who need help, and everybody always needs a job. It just depends on what you're willing to do. And it looks like employers are willing to do a lot more hiring. Eamon Javers in Washington for Nightly Business Report.